Dear students, welcome to this MOOC. MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. In this MOOC, we shall be providing you a variety of multimedia enriched e-content, activities and assessments in a very learner friendly manner so that you are able to understand the various topics of this course very well. Let me now tell you briefly about the structure and main features of this MOOC. The entire MOOC has been divided into various weeks so that you can plan your learning in a very logical and systematic manner. It is advised that you must actively participate in the various components of this MOOC that to regularly on a weekly basis. For every weekly schedule, you are first advised to watch two to four videos assigned to you per week. Then you must read the learning material provided as e-text and also go through other content in the learn more section. After this, you are advised to carry out the various activities like taking part in the discussion forums, visiting the related web links which we have provided for you, attempting crosswords, etc. earmark for each week. After this, to test your knowledge of what you have learned during this week, you must attempt the quiz in the assessment section for that particular week. I wish you all the best in this very interesting self-learning experience. Please remember, we shall always be there with you to provide you support for any problems you face. The MOOC coordinator along with junior faculty as tutor shall always be available to solve your queries which you can post in the discussion forums or you can send them to us through mail which shall be notified to you soon. We would be very happy to know your experience after the completion of this MOOC in the form of your feedback which will help us enhance the quality of this MOOC further. So dear students, after understanding the general structure of the MOOC, let us now try to understand the weekly structure of this course on environmental chemistry by the MOOC coordinator Dr. Suresh Kumar Garg. Dear students, I welcome you to the MOOC on environmental chemistry. I am sure you will agree that safety of the environment is the prime concern for everyone today. As a student of chemistry, you can play a bigger role in protection of the environment and for doing so, you must know the causes of environmental deterioration. This course will get you an exposure to the same. The course will be covered in 13 weeks. In addition, there will be two weeks for revision and assessment. One in the middle of the semester, that is eighth week, and the other at the end of the semester, that is 15th week. In the first week, we will study about the atmosphere, its evolution and structure, followed by biogeochemical cycle of some elements like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur and oxygen. In the second week, we shall study the hydrosphere. We will discuss the composition of water bodies and properties of water. In the third week, we shall study water pollution in which we will cover the different kinds of water pollutants and talk about water-borne diseases followed by water quality standards. In the fourth week, you will study the various analytical techniques for measuring water quality parameters. The fifth week will cover treatment of wastewater. In the sixth week, we shall study the pollutants in soil. It will cover the soil composition and the pollution in soil caused by fertilizers, pesticides, plastics and metals. In the seventh week, we will cover 
the composition of atmosphere. We will study the various photochemical reactions occurring in the earth's atmosphere. The eighth week will be for revision and assessment. In the ninth week, we will study the atmospheric pollution caused by oxides of nitrogen, sulfur and carbon and also by chemicals like petroleum, minerals and chlorofluorohydrocarbons. In the tenth week, we shall study the greenhouse effect, its consequences followed by methods of air pollution control. Industries as you know contribute maximum to environmental pollution. In the 11th week, we will study the pollution caused by distilleries, sugar, cement, paper and pulp industry. In the 12th week, we will cover the pollution caused by power plants. We will study how pollutants from thermal power plants are prevented from entering the atmosphere. The nuclear power plants though do not cause as much pollution, but the danger of radiations leak and nuclear waste disposal is a major concern. In the 13th week, we will take up environmental issues that will include the issues related to metallurgical operations, polymer and drug industry and finally the radioactive waste management. In the 14th week, we shall study about biodegradable products and their decomposition, environmental friendly processes and apprise you of a few major accidents such as Bhopal gas tragedy and the Chernobyl disaster. In the last week, you will have revision and second and final assessment. I wish you for successful completion of the course.